Hi folks, Charlie here. Today I want to talk about reading. As someone who wants to improve their English, you're probably wondering what is the most effective way that I can improve my English. One of the very best ways to become more fluent in English is extensive reading. Now I know that as soon as I said the word reading, many of you are thinking, oh Charlie, I don't have time to read or Charlie, I just don't like reading. Give me just a few minutes. By the end of this video, I am going to convince you how effective extensive reading is and how important it is that you add it into your routine. Firstly, we're going to look at what is extensive reading. Then I'm going to give you six direct benefits that extensive reading will have for your English skills. I'm talking about reading, writing, speaking and listening, all four of them. Then I'm going to give you a handful of more benefits that extensive reading will bring to you. After that, I'll give you some concrete steps that you can take to add extensive reading into your routine and then we'll finish up. So first things first, what is extensive reading? Extensive reading is simply reading for pleasure. You're focusing on reading a, a wide range of materials quickly and easily. So you're supposed to understand what's on the page. It's not supposed to be a stretch. You should understand 90 to 95 percent of what's written on that page, okay? So we're not reading to study specific grammar points or specific vocabulary. That's more intensive reading. With extensive reading, the aim is to improve your overall language skills and fluency. So the six direct benefits of extensive reading to your English language skills. Number one, vocabulary building. When you read extensively, you come across new vocabulary words constantly and repeatedly. Through repeated exposure, you're just going to absorb these new words without even trying. The second benefit, grammar learning. Now, extensive reading helps you see how language is used in context. You're exposed to proper grammar, punctuation, spelling. Now, over time, your mind absorbs these grammar rules, these grammar patterns. So it's a really good way to learn grammar in context in a really unforced natural way. A key point to understand with learning grammar and vocabulary is that it's not learnt the first time you come across it. A very renowned linguist, Stephen Krashen, says that the only reliable way to learn a language is through massive and repeated exposure to it in context. Massive and repeated exposure. Extensive reading gives you that repeated exposure, the exposure that you need. To new language. Number three, the third benefit to your English language skills, writing enhancement. So reading extensively will inevitably improve your writing because of the points I mentioned above. Repeated exposure to correct language, to correct grammar structures, to good vocabulary. Through these things, you'll gain a sense of proper sentence structure, vocabulary, punctuation, and other good habits that will enhance your writing. Number four, another benefit is that your listening comprehension will improve. You're probably wondering, I'm reading, how does this benefit my listening? Your listening will improve because you're building your grammar, you're building your vocabulary. You'll be able to process the language faster as you hear it. If you can process the language faster, your comprehension will improve. You'll have to use less brain power as you're listening. Number five, speaking skill development. Your speaking will improve again. How will your speaking improve if you're reading? If you read a lot, you're being exposed to more language. You're becoming more familiar with the language patterns, the vocabulary, the grammar. This familiarity will help you produce more accurate and fluent speech. You'll also become more confident because you'll have the vocabulary and grammar structure to express yourself more effectively and more clearly. So reading a lot will benefit all your skills, including, of course, reading itself. And that's number six. Your reading fluency will also improve. The more you read, the faster and more fluent your reading will become. So this means it'll become easier for you to read so you can devote more brain power to understanding the text. Some of the other benefits of reading extensively are that you will be exposed to authentic language. Books, magazines, newspapers, websites, they contain authentic, real language written by native speakers. Another benefit of extensive reading is that it's enjoyable. You're choosing what you want to read. When you read material on a 
a topic that you like, then it doesn't feel like studying at all. You can get lost in that enjoyable story or in that feeling of learning something new about a topic that you're interested in. This will help you stay motivated and keep reading more. It's like a virtuous cycle. Another benefit is it'll reduce your anxiety or put another way, boost your confidence. When you successfully complete a book or a long text and you've understood it, you get this feeling of success, this feeling of achievement. And this gives you motivation to keep going, to keep studying, to keep improving your English. So those are all the benefits of extensive reading. Now let's look at how to do it, how to work extensive reading into your life. Because I know everyone's busy reading for pleasure seems like a luxury that we don't have time for nowadays. Let me see if I can help you work it into your life in an easy, sustainable way. First and foremost, number one, most important thing is to choose material, find material that you're interested in, that you actually want to read. You need to do this to stay motivated, to stay engaged. Number two, what should you be reading? Of course, if something is too difficult for you or too easy for you, you're going to lose motivation. So I suggest if you want to read a book or a story that you start with a graded reader. Graded readers are books or stories or material that has been adjusted for different levels of English speaker. Now here are a couple of sites where you can find graded readers for your level to help you get started. First one is english-e-reader.net. Okay. This claims to be the biggest online library of graded ebooks. There's books from A1 through to C2. Now, if you don't know what level you are, I'll put a link to a test in the description below so you can take a level test and figure out where approximately you are. Another website for graded readers is adapted-english-books.site. Again, all these links I'll be putting in the description below, so don't worry about that. A great site for free ebooks is Project Gutenberg. Project Gutenberg is a library of over 70,000 free ebooks. You're gonna find something you wanna read there for sure, 70,000 ebooks. A good starting point for more newsy type of context, newsinlevels.com and Breaking News English. I like both of these sites. They deal in generally more quirky news stories, more interesting news stories, not the depressing type. So you can start looking there. I don't wanna overwhelm you by giving you too many sites. If those are not sufficient, the whole internet is available to you to search if you're looking for something else. It's also important to set yourself a reading schedule. Stick to it for consistency. You don't have to read for hours at a time. Keep it small, keep it sustainable. Maybe aim for 10 or 15 minutes a day. Whatever you can work into your schedule, whatever works for you. I hope I've explained why extensive reading is so effective to improving your overall level of English. A couple of key takeaways from today. Extensive reading is reading for pleasure. You're supposed to understand most of what's on the page. So you need to make sure you find the right material at the right level. Stay consistent. Try and read a little bit each day. Now you can also go to my website, www.organicenglish.club, where I have plenty of material to help you become more fluent in English. I also have a newsletter which you can sign up to. The newsletter contains cheat sheets, mini lessons, video updates, and they'll arrive directly into your inbox. Thank you very much for watching. Now go out and read extensively.